Welcome back, guys. Richard Maple French RC's and more, and this is a definitely big part of the end. More. Oh, I love this thing. I can't say that enough. Well, we got this mounted finally. Last time I was just sitting in here, now I got some junk in here from and for the truck. Oh, yeah. We got the ripped defrost vent tube out. Hi, Bert. Say hi to everyone, Bert. Bert's taking a nap. He's waking him up. Little Bert. We love you, Bert. Bert the rescue kitty. Anyway, got some gauges. Working on getting them installed right now. They're just hanging through someone cut stereo hole. And we're gonna make a plate that goes here. Unfortunately, no more custom painted frickin' dash. Sad things. I painted that when I was like 16 years old, man, with a paintbrush by hand. So don't knock it if I didn't stay inside the lines. I was a kid. Anyway, got some cleaning to do over there. I did a little bit because I got tired of looking at it last night. And oh, what's that? Oh, what's in there? Oh, it's a motor. How'd that get in there? I think the engine ferry put it in. Oh, there's a transmission too. And somebody cut the cross member. How'd that happen? Sawzall. I didn't think you guys wanted to sit there and watch me cut that with a sawzall for an hour or so. Or any of this other tedious bullshit. It's been tedious, let me tell you. Now I gotta do all this crappy wiring. And, uh, yeah. Hook everything up. Uh, waiting on a front seal for the transmission. That's why the motor's on jack. I want the cherry picker out of my way for this. Yeah, there's socks in the hole. I gotta find a decent carburetor, gasket, and plate for it, and bolts. Everything takes time here in the line belt. So happens when you throw things in a bucket, because you're in a hurry. Quit doing that. Doing it wrong. Anyway, I love that wind. So this is what we're doing. This is where we're at. There's a few casualties of war storage. Uh, we got a broke off bolt here, as usual, I got to address. For some reason, they're easier to do in the car. I don't know why. We always do them in the car. Never mind the mess. That's what we were wrapping around the motor to keep it dry, obviously. So yeah, and we're working on getting an interior in here. There's the seat. We got a weld a spacer on it so it sits on that hump properly. But yeah, getting there. Just a bunch of little shit, you know. Get an adapter for the new uh, temperature gauge, that kind of thing. 